Hello everyone, my name is Jeeth from Method, and today we're covering how to unlock the Horde's newest allied race, the Volpira. To unlock the Volpira, you have to meet a few requirements. First, you need to be exalted with the Voldeni. At this point in the expansion, most of you already have that box checked, but if you're a fresh Horde recruit or a reputation slacker, it shouldn't take too long. Just do your world quests and any Voldeni emissaries, and especially for the next month or so, with the WoW 15th anniversary bonus reputation available right now, you'll be done before you know it. Second, you need the achievement The Sands of Old Doom. This is the achievement for completing the entire story questline in Voldoon. Again, most of you will have done this already, either while you were leveling or to unlock flying. But if you haven't, you can do it on any 110 plus character in just a couple of hours. Once you've completed both of those requirements, a quest will pop up to talk with G, Firepaw, and Orgrimmar, located on your map right here. A Vulpira caravan has arrived at Orgrimmar, and they want to be introduced to Bane, so off you go. As you get there, you see Bane being bombarded by problems. So when Kiro the Volparan Emissary approaches Bane and asks to join the Horde, Bane says, of course, I've got 99 problems, but a furry ain't one. No, no, the Volpira cannot join the Horde. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our other videos, including our breakdown on how to unlock mecha gnomes. Just kidding. So, because Bane is too busy with problems that would surely be eased with more allies, he says no, there's enough on his plate already. He doesn't need any helping hands. The Volpera see these problems and think, hey, we can help with that. We're small but mighty, often overlooked. This is an opportunity to prove ourselves. But then they see you standing there and think, on second thought, maybe we can get that guy to do it for us. First, it's off to the Twilight Highlands to help at Crushblow Outpost, which has been abandoned. You track down the orcs and find them protesting their work conditions. It's up to you to gather supplies for a feast to show the orc peons. Sorry, did I say peons? I meant valued servers of the Horde. Just how much we appreciate them. You'll also be running around the highlands collecting ore to upgrade their tools and giving them promotions. Once you've done all that, it's time to show your strength to the peons by battling the foreman. A good meal and watching their boss get clapped is all it takes to put the peons back in a good mood and they go straight back to work. Next, it's off to Zandalar to help the trolls repel some naga on their coast. First you'll be tasked to steal their weapons, then plant explosives, and then destroy power cells scattered along the coastline. Finally, you'll be sending the naga leader back to Davy Jones' locker and heading back to Orgrimmar. Finally, you're off to help the Nightborn in Suramar. We've gone from defending a coastal invasion and quelling a mutiny to helping at a vineyard? Alright. So you get to the vineyard and you find the new vintner is having a problem with the winemaking process. He wants you to rearrange his assistants. One of each needs to be stomping grapes, cooking, and scavenging. Our hopefully clean hooved Tarn friend should be stomping those grapes. Nomi the Pandoran should be in charge of letting the flavors get to know each other in the pan, and the ever resourceful goblins should go out and find the goods. Once rolls are assigned, you need to find the new ingredients. These are fermented firebloom, which can be purchased from Boss Maida, and silkwing fibers, which drop from the moths near the vineyard. Once that's done, speak to the new vintner and you'll get a new toy and get sent back to Orgrimmar. Seeing all his troubles taken care of by you, and by you we really mean Volpera's middle management, Blaine realizes he's made a mistake and asks the Volpera to join the horde. And what does the fox say? Yes, of course. After some glad handing and contract signing, you get access to your very own Volpera and accompanying alpaca. Oh wait, nope. Caravan Hyena Mount. So there you have it. That's how you unlock the Volpera. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our other videos, including our breakdown on how to unlock mecha gnomes. As always, if you like this video, please click that like button down below and feel free to drop a comment to let us know what class you're going to roll with your new Volpera.